Well, I guess I'm a glutton for punishment. I bought another one of these cheap microscopes. My original one broke. Uh, that was a Must Tool branded microscope. And I have the bits and pieces right here. So I still have the screen, I still have the casing and all that stuff. But the main board went kaput, so it's basically junk. And I needed a microscope because my eyesight's pretty bad. And I can't do close-up work without some kind of magnification, so I couldn't afford anything better, so I bought this. This was, like I said, $30 on Amazon.ca, and it'll do the trick until I can afford something a little bit better. So I'll open the box, and we'll take a look at what's inside, and then we'll switch over to the computer, and I'll just show you a little something on there. So now that the box is out of the way, let's take a quick look at it, and we'll kind of compare it to the original one. They are basically identical. I think the firmware on this one might be a little newer. I'm not 100% sure. I can't check this one, obviously, because, you know, it's just a screen, basically, now, so... Anyway, yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same. So if I compare the new uh, microscope to the Must tool that I bought on Banggood, uh, the focus is a little bit better. I'm not sure why, but this knob doesn't seem as loosey-goosey as the other one. So maybe they improved the mechanism in there a little bit or something. And also, my original one, when I first got it, came with dirt in the sensor so every time I looked at the screen there was like black flecks all over the place I don't know what it was just some random dirt that got in there so yeah it's pretty much identical to the other one so I'm gonna set this up on my boom arm and take a quick uh, demo video and see if the quality is any better. Maybe they improved the firmware even though it looks pretty much identical to the firmware on the other one. So the quality on the microscope isn't really that bad. So if you're looking at the screen and you're just soldering or whatever, it's not too bad. It's actually usable. But the problem comes when you actually record video either through uh, USB or on the SD card. So what I think they're doing is taking VGA footage and upscaling that to 720p and then they're upscaling the 720p that's already upscaled to 1080p which is why the quality is pretty bad. So if I look at this uh, video here and go to the properties the computer is actually saying that this is 720p but I recorded it in 1080p on the microscope so they're obviously doing something funny with the the firmware to make you think it's 1080p when you're recording it but when you transfer it to the computer it tells you what it actually is but I don't think it is actually 720p because it's pretty bad even 1080p upscaled from 720p should look okay but that doesn't I guess maybe it could be the sensor I don't really know but anyway so let's uh, take a look at the 720p footage so if I go to properties and details like I did before this one also says that it's uh, 720p so they're not both 720p obviously one's supposed to be 1080p but if you look at the footage maybe it's a really shitty sensor like I said but uh, the footage doesn't look much better or any better to me at least than the VGA footage and that goes for the 1080p footage too so if we go to the VGA footage and the properties and details that says uh, it's actually VGA. So it's 640 by 480 and 30 frames per second. I think they might be fudging the 30 frames per second too because it's not smooth enough in my opinion to be 30 frames per second but I might be wrong. It could be.